Hello. Um, so today's my 15 year anniversary on YouTube. Um, this channel got made in Octo on October 4th, 20 er, 2008. God, 2020. The way we say years now is very different. 2008. Um, so last year I already kind of did a retrospective because I figured half my life ago was a little bit more significant. <laughs> um, and I do retrospect or, you know, retrospective what I've been up to type videos. Like there was a one year anniversary one. There was a five year anniversary one. There was a 10 year anniversary one. And I pretty much covered the bulk of that last year because it was half my life ago but now it's not so i guess i'm just going to do kind of a sequel slash continuation of this so and naturally this is going to also be very off the cuff unscripted lots of so's lots of ums lots of pauses that kind of thing okay so um it's been scattered, shall we say. <laughs> it's been a little scattered in terms of what I've been up to in the past year. So, um, had a couple of clips from streams or, you know, um, speed runs that I've been doing. This was when I threw um, a 120% Inspire 1 PB because I... Oh, I'm not going to count all the gems, uh, you know, double check the gem count when I leave the uh, last room and whoopsies, I was off by one. So, or I was off by a single pink gem, so I had to go back in and do it again. Um, towards the beginning-ish of the year, I started trying to do, like, you know, just gameplay first experience type stream, so... Um, there was a, uh, there is a driver kind of fan remake, or I guess not remake, because it's not like one-to-one, -one, but like, definitely tries to remake the, um, feeling of like, driver one and driver two, and, you know, had some fun with that, um, just did a bunch of driving, did a couple of missions, that kind of thing. Um, apparently the February 2020 build was not up to date at that time, so when I posted it in, like, the official Discord, there were people that were just like, oh, it drives me nuts that everyone, you know, isn't using the most up-to-date build, and it's just like, my guy, that's the one you guys have up on your site. <laughs> so, I didn't revisit it afterwards. Um, Forza Horizon 5, um, Donut Media had a... Uh, update that they were part of, and, you know, I wanted to record something on that. Uh, 40 minutes, I was actually surprised it took that little. I was expecting that to be, like, hour, hour and a half, maybe even two-hour stream, but no, I cleaned through all that content in the space of an hour, so it's whatever. Um, here's another 120 flub-up where... I try to get around the dragon that's like right next to the uh, return home portal and I was off by a little bit and wound up going up into the vortex and then had to go back into that level to get the rest of what I needed. Um, just some assorted uh, PS5 recording clips. Uh, this is me abusing the uh, rewind feature. Um, this one too. Real good, real handy for the golf games, I will say. <laughs> um, some random, guilty gear randomness. This is a shit post that I put a lot of effort, or, you know, more effort than usual into. Um, and it's just like, nobody cared. <laughs> so it's like, well, shit. At the very least, I mean, I find it funny, because it's literally just like, Potemkin doing his... Um, some attacks to the tune of uh, The Hustle by Van McCoy from, like, the 70s. Because it looks like he's doing a little jig whenever he does, like, his, like, small punch and then kick, like, in quick succession. <laughs> um, doing some grinding on GT7 for credits, and there was one car that, like, just straight up 
didn't appear, but his nameplate was still hovering. So it was just like, uh, what? <laughs> um, poured it over the stream where I got uh, platinum in GT7. Um, first time I've ever platinum a Gran Turismo game. Uh, all the other ones were maybe a little too hard or, you know, prohibitive to do. Um, short little look at Drift Stage. There's not a whole lot to the game itself because it was left very unfinished for years on end. And then finally at the beginning of this year, um, hey, you can buy it and play it now. It's still very unfinished. It's 10 bucks, but uh, here you go. That kind of thing. So just kind of did a little bit of a uh, look through there. Um, here's where I was kind of sifting through a couple games in my uh, Steam library that I just bought and just, you know, put up in the old uh, put up in the old uh, backlog. Uh, this one's real fun, actually. Um, so, for shits and giggles after the fact, I looked into, like, hey, has anyone speedrun this? And yeah, people did speedrun this when it was new. <laughs> so, um, so submitted a handful of runs, got no response, uh, went on SRC, joined the Discord, and like the few mods that were there, like, look, I've moved on. Anyone wants it, it's theirs. Contacted them, like, hey, I need some runs verified. No response. Went through the usual channels, and now I'm the, you know, the moderator for this game. And I wound up revamping the uh, entire board because there was, like, stuff. It was operating off of V1.1, and we're currently on V1.3. So <clears throat> there's differences between the three different versions, but you're also able in Steam to, like, go back and forth between them all. So, um, yeah, restructured the boards a little bit, added all the new features, that kind of thing, and, you know, not a lot of traction on it because the game itself is about five years old, and not a lot of people kind of pay attention to it after its heyday, but, uh, yeah, if y'all want to check this game out, I highly recommend doing so, and if you guys want to speedrun that, I especially, um recommend doing so as well um first time with need for speed unbound this was like towards the end of um this is like towards the end of 2022 actually and i just didn't get around to like downloading the VOD and just uploading the damn thing because i thought i had like kind of a thing where i was gonna like oh i'm gonna chop up the entire thing and you know only include the bits that are interesting it turns out i'm way too fucking lazy for that so, yeah, that's kind of where that was at. It, I haven't really progressed much through that game because it really, it just didn't hit for me, honestly. I might go back at some point and maybe potentially play through it again, but eh, not really. Um, Crash Team Rumble. I knew... I knew that they were plugging this all over Twitter. I knew they were like, hey, there's this thing coming out, and then people are asking, okay, what's it about? And they're just like, um, it's coming out. Okay, but what's it about? Uh, it It's coming out, guys. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be cool. Well, not really adequately explaining what the fuck it is. So, finally the beta rolls out, and it's only for if you, like, pre-order, if you're, like, some major big deal, um, then Activision just gives you a code, but otherwise, uh, you gotta pay for that shit, homie. <laughs> um, so, I played, a, like, a little under two hours of it, it's, like, just some team-based Dota-type thing that, I mean, it was kind of fun, but not really something that really held my interest or whatnot. Like, so I pre-ordered this pretty much just to get access to the beta and, like, try this shit out. So $40 demo, essentially. Um, the release date came and went. It installed itself on my uh, PS5. I have literally not opened this game since this stream. 
like the entirety of season one has gone has like come and gone and I do not care pretty much um oh hey the GT7 tried doing an Olympics kind of thing like they did a couple years ago on GT Sport and so you know for shits and giggles I entered and you know attention grabbing fucking title which by the way couple of these are the attention grabbing oh my god it's this is interesting oh it tries out for the olympics oh i got my first platinum trophy and you know youtuber algorithm type bullshit that i don't care for i've stopped doing that since then not that i've had a whole lot of content to really churn out since then but content hasn't necessarily been the fucking focus if i'm being honest it's been more you know speed running doing speed running marathons that kind of thing um, so, try out for the Olympics, uh, got reached, so someone, back when I was doing streams of this, so these two games were the actual, were the same stream, um, I just chopped them up into, you know, their respective things, so, the developer of this game actually came in around the end of this part of the stream and said yo so if you do speed runs and if you like racing games i've got this ship game that you might like so here's what this one was so pretty much uh this gave it a good college try on stream got uh two hours worth of uh tries on it. It's kind of like this interesting kind of top-down space racer type thing. Um, but yeah, uh, since then it's gotten a uh, kind of early access kind of thing on Steam. So you can buy it and play it yourself, that kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's fun. It's, you know, a decent game, that kind of thing. Um, A little bit of the Street Fighter Six demo, a little bit before work, hence how short did it, how short the stream is. Um, this was a clip from when I was speedrunning Star Wars Episode Four for you know May the Fourth, haha. Um, actually, I was speedrunning it for the most of May because this game's fun. <laughs> this game's very fun. Um, a couple of years back, I streamed it on PS4, just kind of casual playthrough, but. You know, hey, there's a big old speedrunning scene for this, so. Um, but yeah, here's a th place where I just keep getting, you know, killed over and over, and that naturally kills my run, so. Is what it is. Um, random camera wonkery in GT7. Uh, twist oh, gotcha, okay. So, right around when the Twisted Metal TV show came out. Um, they released Twisted Metal 1 and 2 on PSN, you know, to be able to be played on PS2, and, or uh, PS2, PS4 and PS5. So, I did a big ol', like, stream where I got Platinum in both of those games. Um, and then afterwards, it was just, you know, chill, kind of show it off to, uh, my friend Tyler, who was a big fan of the show, and... Really, there's been a lot of... Twist Metal's really been the jam, content-wise, like... Or at least according to, like, with the algorithm, kind of pushing, like, hey, is the TV show's coming up. Oh, there's games associated with this. And there's a whole bunch of people churning out videos and, you know, talking about lore, talking about experiences with the games, talking about other people's experiences with the games, talking about communities with, you know, associated with the games. And, you know, I had a handful of people that went, hey, you did Twisted Metal videos in the past. You did, uh, you did the fucking Cars of Twisted Metal. So what gives? What's the fucking... Why aren't you churning out content? And it's like, I feel less inclined to make it now, if I'm being honest. Because, like, 
realistically, I don't think there's really much of anything that I can turn out that isn't covered by somebody else like Vicarious Nick, who's been pretty much the spearhead of the whole content dealio. And, you know, a lot of the other people who whose names really escape me. Um, I just really haven't been paying too close attention to that whole thing. I watched a TV show, it was... Uh, it didn't quite hit for me the same way other people did. Um... But, I mean, shit, it's whatever. There's there's really nothing I can contribute to this space. And it's like, oh, you could do the Cars of Twisted Metal again. It's like, yeah, like, that's gone so well, like, the times I've tried doing that. Because it's been a case of, like, heart ain't in it. Too lazy. I've got other things that I have want to do. I've got, there's other projects I want to do, that kind of thing. So it's... Like, when your episode consistency is at the rate of, like, one every three to five years, that's, you know, that's not a good sign. And, oh, it's the best time to do this, because Twist Metal's hot right now. It's, you know, something you should, something you should do, or, you know, something you should be making videos on, man. It's like, eh, I'm not really in the mood, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Plus, it's not really my goal to, like, oh, I, I'm gonna get big on YouTube because of fucking Twisted Metal. I mean, 14-year-old me probably would have been all about that, but 29-year-old me? Nah. <laughs> I got other shit I want to do, homie. But, uh, yeah, that was just me kind of showing off, like, Warthog tries to shoot at me through a wall, and it doesn't work out, because, like, hello, there's a wall in the way. Um... Another donut media stream so they had a more robust update as you can probably tell by the uh, episode link there um and you know it actually had something to do with a lot of their shows that they do on that channel so much better update compared to the other one um friend Riker started getting the guilty gear and we were just kind of shooting the shit, really, just kind of the same kind of clip stuff that, uh, voice call clip stuff that, you know, were part of these whole videos, or, you know, in the same spirit as these two videos, or these handful of videos, where it's just, we're shooting the shit, we're having fun, we're just casually fucking about, um, the little shit post that I had, uh, an idea for, like, years ago, but, you know, was too lazy to put together, so... The death stream, death scream in like Twisted Metal Four, um, sounds like the body ah, part of like the chorus of September by Earth Wind and Fire. So, I wanted to like throw that together like a handful of years ago, but finally got around to doing it this time. So, uh, yeah, that's finally <laughs> threw that together, and then this is just a random occurrence that I had just in voice call where like. Spectre does this really weird slide that looks very unnatural, even with, like, how the game's physics work. Um, but I was like, hmm, that's weird, and just, you know, saved a clip, uploaded it. There's no commentary during it, because at the point, this point I was in a voice call with um, people on Discord and not, you know, PSN itself. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, like, the only Twisted Metal content that I've put out... Um, you know, since the since YouTube decided it'd be funny to make that popular now, um, if anything, if you see anything from me like twisted metal related, it's probably gonna be more happenstance type shit. Um, at the very least, I do have kind of a thing in the back of my mind of like maybe just casually talking about the TV show and like things I like, things I didn't like, um, things that, like, well, it's been confirmed for a season two, so here's hoping, you know, they change this, or, you know, this gets mentioned, or whatever, because uh, a lot of people seem to really like it, it didn't really hit for me, so I'm probably gonna give it another watch, um, since it's been about three or so months on from when it released, because, 
I feel like it's very easy to just kind of romanticize something brand new coming out and like, oh, it's so good, it's the greatest thing ever, like right when it comes out. And then like a handful of months down the line, it's like, eh, you know, the honeymoon period is worn off, that kind of thing. I mean, GT7 was kind of the same way for me. <laughs> um, and people do that on like brand new games too. It's like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Oh my God. And then, you know, and four months later, it's like, you know what? This sucks, actually. <laughs> so I figured I was going to do that. Um, maybe also maybe talk about the Grand Chess movie. movie Because it's, it's weird. Like, within the span of a month, like, two of my favorite, like, video game series got screen adaptations within a month of each other. Like, released within a month of each other. And they were stuff that I was not expecting in the slightest to be getting a screen adaptation. Twisted Metal, okay, maybe, sort of, but definitely not what we got. And then Gran Turismo, I mean, it's true. They, you know, make a fucking movie about, you know, something that actually, that, uh, or based on a true story. And I do heavily stress based on. But uh, the whole GT Academy thing definitely is a story in of itself because, uh... In Gran Turismo itself, the actual games, um, there is no story. <laughs> it's literally just like, here's some cars, here's some events, go have fun. Um, and pe I remember people just kind of going like, what do you mean? It's not a video game movie. <laughs> it's not a video game movie. It's like, I was expecting to see more elements of the game in it, and it's just like, my brother in Christ, there is no fucking story in Gran Turismo. Or at least no narrative. It's just like, the story is you. The story is just... I picked up this shitty car from the used car dealership for 10,000 credits. And just... Drove. <laughs> I mean, that's the story. You are the story. It's dictated exclusively pretty much by you. Like, what routes you go. Or at least in the earlier games and later games, it's just like you're being taken on a tour. But that's neither here nor there. This is this is a this channel retrospective, or at least a part two to the retrospective I did literally 365 days ago. Um, but yeah, so going forward, you're probably going to see a lot more. Um, you're probably going to see a lot more activity on uh, this channel than the other channel. Because, I mean, I'm actively uploading stuff to this, and they're all just speed runs and whatnot. So, naturally, they're not going to be like a whole bunch of, like, discussion or talking about certain things, like, if there are any conversations at all, they're going to be, like, just Seinfeldian conversations with whoever I have in, like, voice call in Discord and just, like, shooting the shit type thing. But, um, yeah, a handful of these are going to be streams. A handful of these are going to be just stuff I record offline. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the whole dealio with this. I need to take this down, honestly, if I'm being... Because it's just like... 14 years ago, 14 years ago... Like, this shit's old. <laughs> this shit's just... Uh, it needs... T I'm not going to private it, because this is who I was 15 years ago, but it's still just like... It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing to have, like, at the forefront of the channel, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah. I reckon that does it. There's not going to be a whole lot happening for this channel, at least not in terms of stuff that's planned, just more incidental stuff like clips from just gaming sessions and streams. But, yeah, happy 15th anniversary to this channel here and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one